Welcome to Eagle News, our topic today is, Democrats have released the tax records of former President Donald Trump. The House Ways and Means Committee released a partially redacted version of former President Donald Trump's tax returns on Friday, completing Democrats' long-standing goal of making Trump's finances public after the former president unsuccessfully fought to block them in court. The financial documents contain Trump's individual returns filed jointly with his wife, Melania, for six years, including his stay in the White House. The document dump also included tax forms for numerous of Trump's corporate organizations that were reviewed by Democrats on Ways and Means, a report from the Democratic majority, and a reaction from Republicans on the committee. There are over 6,000 pages of documentation, including 2,700 pages of individual tax returns and over 3,000 pages from Trump's businesses. The tax returns shed light on Trump's financial situation from 2015 to 2020, as he prepares to run for president a third time in 2024. Personal sensitive information, such as social security and bank account details, is obscured by the redactions. Last Monday, the committee voted 24 to 16 along party lines to release Trump's tax returns. Democrats contended that transparency and the rule of law were at issue, while Republicans worried that the release would create a dangerous precedent by removing privacy safeguards. When he stood for president, Trump refused to release his tax returns and fought a court battle to keep them hidden while in office. However, the Supreme Court decided this month that he must turn them over to the Ways and Means Committee, which writes taxes. The Democrats should never have done it, and the Supreme Court should never have allowed it, because it will have disastrous consequences for so many people. The tremendous divide in the United States will now worsen Trump warned in a statement following the release of his tax returns. Everything has been weaponized by the radical left Democrats, but keep in mind that this is a deadly two-way street. The Trump tax returns demonstrate yet again how proudly successful I have been, and how I have been able to use depreciation and other tax breaks as an incentive to create thousands of jobs and great structures and enterprises he said. Democrats on the Ways and Means Committee issued a study on Trump's taxes last week, revealing that the former president paid little to no federal income taxes on his multi-million dollar income from 2015 to 2022, claiming millions in business losses. The paper's research concludes that any failure to properly tax Trump's earnings appears to have been a failure of the IRS rather than the product of White House pressure or obfuscation. Trump's businesses employed reported losses, overseas tax credits, deductions, charitable gifts, and a variety of other financial strategies to offset earnings taxation. According to the committee, these business methods frequently reduced his otherwise significant tax obligations to pennies on the dollar. Republican Ways and Means Committee Chairman Rep. Kevin Brady, Republican Texas, slammed the publication of Trump's tax returns on Friday. Democrats have pressed forward with an unprecedented choice to unleash a deadly new political weapon that stretches far beyond the former president, Brady said in a statement. In the future, all future chairs of the House Ways and Means Committee and the Senate Finance Committee will have practically unlimited power to target and make public the tax returns of private persons, political rivals, corporate and labor leaders, or even Supreme Court judges, he said.